I think there's a real turnaround taking place in, in the military in general right now, and people are beginning to realize you're not a good Marine if you don't take care of yourself. Especially younger service members, it's definitely a, a sign of maturity to be able to get that out in the open and uh, share those feelings and, and try to get them resolved. Put the word out and just talk about it, you know, I mean, knowledge is power. Let people know you're not going to be ostracized, it's going to be okay, it's better to come forward now, get the help, then go back home, beat your wife, get into a car accident or do something because you can't handle what you've, you know, done or seen. We've been training you in the military to be prepared and identify problems in advance or when they're just starting. Use that training and identify personal problems and issues and concerns and emotional things that come up and get the help that you need. Many times I thought I could handle it on my own, and I was wrong. Hey, you're a human being, you're a soldier, and you love your country, and you fought for it, but you gotta, we gotta take care of you. You know, and there's nothing wrong with asking for help. You know, the only thing that's wrong is if you let this, the issues keep going, and you don't ask for help, and it turns into something even worse than it started out to be. Just seek help in the beginning before it becomes a huge problem six months down the road. It's going to get worse before it gets better. The longer you wait, the worse it's going to get. Seek help. It's, it's, you're, you're, not, you're not a freak if you do. The military is providing mental health professionals for us to use. A lot of times I see people not using it, and I don't understand. You need to talk to somebody that's not going to be biased, that can give you some good advice, you know, and that won't judge you. I think it takes a strong person to, to admit that they're human and that, uh, that they may need help. That I really feel that it's an extreme show of strength to be able to admit that there's an issue and there's a problem. And if they can admit to that, then they're already started the healing process. One of the principles of leadership is to know yourself and seek self-improvement. And if you know there's something going on, you've got to go to the people that, that know what they're doing to fix that problem.